Maker Bridge. I'm just gonna wing it. I, to be honest, I did not prepare anything for this video, and it is just going to be things out of my mouth. That sounded really weird. Hey guys, I'm from Maker Bridge 12, or Bridget, that's my real name, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Boy. Now, this is not your typical scary doll possession movie like Annabelle, and it's not as cheesy as Annabelle, Annabelle, and it's not cheesy to be honest. They didn't really have like any cheesy scenes. There were a couple slow-mo shots that I was like, okay, well, why does that have to be in slow-mo? What is the boy even about? It's about this girl named Greta. She's in her early, maybe late 20s, early 30s, I don't know. But something, she has a secret that is back in America, and she wants to leave her past behind. So she goes to Britain, and she gets offered to be a nanny for these two couple, this older couple. And they have a son, I think it's their son, but I don't know if it's their grandson or if it's their son, but she gets paid a lot of money to nanny and like take care of their son or grandson, I don't know which one, but yeah, and it turns out that person, that boy, is a doll. And at first she's like, uh, are you kidding me? You want me to take care of your doll? Like, she's a little weirded out and she starts laughing and they are straight face. I thought it was hilarious. I started laughing at the theater. She has to take care of this doll and they give her a set of rules because they're going on vacation. And they haven't been on vacation in a long time. So she gets a set of rules like don't cover the boy, the doll. Don't cover the doll's face. You have to like wake him up. You have to give him food. And she does not follow any of these rules. That's typical in horror movies, but I guess if you have the character like all good and stuff and obey everything, then you wouldn't really have a plot. But, you know, it's typical in horror movies that they never follow rules. So she disobeys these rules and then all of a sudden her shoes go missing and she like, things randomly start disappearing and then this is where it hits the like big shebang. So the doll, she's like not we're really caring about the doll. She meets this guy, the grocery person, the guy who brings over the groceries. I think his name was Malcolm, I'm not sure, but he just keeps bringing over the groceries and she kind of starts to like like him and then the doll starts disappearing. She'll like put the doll on the bed and then she'll turn around to like get something and then the doll will be stand not there anymore. The doll disappeared. So then she's like, okay, that is a little creepy. She tells Malcolm or the grocery person and he thinks she's a little crazy at first, but then she shows him that the doll actually like disappears and reappears and it's really creepy. So I'm not, that's basically what the movie is about and I don't want to spoil anything, but the ending, oh my gosh. There is an amazing plot twist, and if you saw The Visit, that was a pretty good plot twist, but I'm pretty sure this movie is a better plot twist than The Visit. This movie is so much better than The Forest, which I thought was really cheesy, and this movie actually had some scary scenes. Now, I have a big scare factor, but there was a couple, like the walking down the hallway scene, that a little, like, I had shivers, like, it was all dark in the theater and I was like sitting with my dad, yeah. I went to the movies with my dad and my stepmom. Shows I have really great friends that don't like horror movies. This movie had really good actors and actresses. It has the girl from The Walking Dead in it who plays Glenn's girlfriend and I think it has some other famous actors and actresses in it and the music was really good. It had suspenseful music, and music does definitely play a role in horror films because if there was no music, it would probably not be a horror film because music like gets your, gets your adrenaline up and it's like those strings, the violins, especially in Insidious. Those violins in Insidious are like, you know. <laughs> What made me angry, kind of, about this film is that they always have to show in horror films, they always have to have a shower scene. Like, Psycho started that, but seriously, why does there have to be a shower scene? Or like, why does, in every horror film, there has to be a girl half naked or in her panties and bra? At least 
always show a guy and his shirt off. They don't, they always show girls, they never show guys. Like, it's always girls being sexualized in like, it's just so annoying. Like, horror movies just need to stop having girls like in a bra and panties. I would definitely go and see The Boy because it was really well directed and it just had a really good plot twist and the story was really good and after, like, the last shot just makes you wonder if they're gonna like, okay, this is not really a spoiler, if they're gonna make a second one or like, whoa, like what just happened here? So the ending is really good and it was just a really well done horror movie. I think it's probably gonna be one of the top of 2016. I don't know what's to come in 2016, but I love horror, so I would definitely recommend this for all the horror people out there. Even if you don't like horror, just give it a try. I would rate it probably a 3.5 out of 5. Or maybe a 4 out of 5. If, yeah, 4 out of 5. Comment below what you thought about if you did see The Boy or if you didn't see The Boy, horror movies you want to see in 2016, and anything else, comment below. Please share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Love you guys. Bye! Today I'm going to be talking about dating and I'm going to be giving you guys dating advice and how to find the perfect person. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, you may have a crush and I'm going to teach you guys how to get your crush 